Today, we are announcing one of our biggest launches that we've done in a long while. So this is a massive one. We've done a huge speed increase through a SQLite rewrite. We have added Claude 3.7 Sonnet from Anthropic into our AI features. We've added a PDF preview into the Mac app. And this one wouldn't even fit in the title preview, a persistent search to our advanced search feature. So I'm going to cover all of these quickly and show you a couple things where relevant. The first thing here, so we have had this in the works for about a year now, uh, a massive SQLite rewrite that that has resulted in much better performance of the apps. So there's a couple relevant things here, and you can read our more in-depth launch uh, article here on this. But basically, you'll notice everything opening a lot faster, particularly the iOS app. If you've ever used it in the past and ran into reloading issues, those should now be resolved. And if you have massive collections of notes, uh, which is very uncommon, I'm talking like tens or hundreds of thousands of notes, then you should now be able to use those graphs without any issue. So uh, I think that one probably affected a small number of people. But, you know, if you had issues with that in the past, you should now be able to basically use any number of notes and reflect without issue. And again, the big thing is speed performance there. We also did a write-up in a separate blog article. If you just go to reflect.app slash blog, you'll see the SQL rewrite article is one of the first ones. This is a bit more of a technical explanation of what was done, uh, why it took so long. And a lot of this information comes from Wojtek, one of our engineers that I put into an article here. So for anyone curious or more technically minded, go check that one out. Okay, cool. Uh, the next is Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So 3.7 Sonnet made quite a splash. If you have been following these AI releases, they kind of jump around where, you know, OpenAI will release a new model and it'll be the best and then Claude or Anthropic and Cloud, Claude by Anthropic will release a new model and it will be the OpenAI one. So it's kind of always a game here and we're keeping them updated. So we've now updated it to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. If you have the AI assistant feature set to default, uh, it will already be using this model. So again, to use it, you just highlight text, use Command J or click on these stars and it pulls up the AI assistant. I've got all of my custom prompts at the top and the system ones at the bottom, but uh, this AI assistant here will now use Claude. So you'll notice the results will be much better. Uh, I think they're much better. And just a reminder in the preferences, you can toggle the provider here. So uh, I have mine set to default, which is Anthropic. Um, you can set it to either one of these. Uh, right now, if you set it to open AI, that will change it. And remember, you can also put in your Anthropic API key to get unlimited um, queries. Queries, is that the right word? You can use the AI assistant in an, in an unlimited way. <laughs> that was a bad way to say that, but you know what I mean? Uh, okay, cool. Number three here is the PDF preview. So I've got a PDF file down here. Uh, now, if you click on the download button, it will pull up this preview here where you can, you know, interact with the text, you can download the PDF, you can print it, uh, kind of deal with all these typical options here. And this allows you to view the PDF directly within, um, within Reflect when you have something embedded. Previously, when you clicked on that button, it would just download it and there was no way to actually view it, even though we did recently also add in OCR text. So uh, the search already was indexing the PDFs, but you couldn't preview it in Reflect. Now, both is the case. Uh, I think that's all to mention on that one. And then, oh, actually on the PDF preview, that is only available in the Mac app. Uh, so here I'm using Reflex native Mac app. Uh, you'll need to use that for the PDF preview, not the mobile app. And I don't believe it works on the web app either. Okay, last one here, persistent search. So um, when I go open up Reflex search here, let's say that I search for uh, daily reflection. And I've got all these results. And now I close out of search, come back to this page. Now when I go back to search, those same results are still there. It won't uh, you know, refresh them. Previously, whenever you would close out of the search and then go back to it, it would just reset the search and it would be blank again. Now if you want to clear the results, you can hit this button or use the shortcut of command backspace. And it will reset the results so that, yeah, it's reset when you come back. Uh, so those are the big updates we have right now. I know um, we always say this, but in the background, a lot of uh, bugs are being squashed. A lot of smaller performance improvements are being made. And right now, the team's working really hard on uh, improving the reliability of our voice transcribers. We want those to be super solid so that you never have to worry about anything when transcribing a voice note. So uh, keep an eye on our future updates for that. But go give these a try. It's been a major update, and we're really excited, especially about the SQLite rewrite that's caused such a massive speed increase.